Abby and I are always on the lookout for a nice variety of RCs. We love our big, expensive, fast, crazy behemoths that cost $300, $400, to $500. But we also really like finding budget vehicles that really can help anybody get into the hobby. One of the best things about this vehicle is the size and the price and where you can buy it. It's sold on Amazon. So we'll have a link in the description box below. This is made by DRC. We just did one of the very, very budget little vehicles by them. It was like 75, 80 bucks, super tiny little thing, but it was okay. It was a good little vehicle and a nice way to get into the hobby. Now, if you want to get into the hobby on a budget, this is under $200. I think it's right around 150. It's four wheel drive and they claim it's 10th scale. It might be a little bit smaller than 10th scale. We could say like 11th or 12th scale possibly, but it's really, really close. It has lights, it's four wheel drive, it's ready to run. It comes with two batteries, two S batteries, and a USB charge cable. This was one nice bonus surprise that I, when I was unboxing it, realized, wow, it comes with a clear plastic body. You can customize your own RC however you want. That's not very common for an RC to come with a, an extra body, let alone a clear one that you can customize. So all the good stuff here will be linked in the description box below. I think it comes in at a really good price. So Abby and I were just driving around. We found a cool little abandoned uh, road with tons of potholes and a lot of snow and ice and muck and mud. I think this is going to be fun. So let's power it on and see how this thing does. See if it's worth your hard earned money. Before we kick this thing on and probably break something today, I want to thank our sponsor, Leading Edge Supplements Severe Clear. This is an energy supplement designed by a full scale pilot for other RC enthusiasts. It's really made for your mental focus. If this kind of thing appeals to you or someone you know in your life, we'll have it linked in the description box below and you can save 15% with an exclusive RC Sailor promo code. Let's power this truck on and see how it does. Nice and powered on. The lights look pretty good. They're just your standard front bumper lights. And Abby, we gotta try to avoid this. The ice is cool, but the water is gonna tear it up. Let's go. This might be one of the muddiest spots we've ever driven an RC. If you lose control of it, it is going in the water. <laughs> this is like a dangerous little spot. Oh, oh, oh. Lucky for me. <laughs> oh, <ice. nice. laughs> Ooh. Four wheel drive. So the one thing I notice about this right off the bat is it feels a little bit lightweight. It's kind of glidey. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it, at least when it's driving. When you're holding it, you know, it feels feels bulky enough but right here when you're driving like this it just feels super glidey i think you'll you'll know what i'm saying oh that's not a bad little ramp for this that was pretty good let's do a couple <laughs> more of those Woo! <laughs> Whew, i just that went down so on a day like today oh i wrecked that's one. Oh. <laughs> one day like today we're going to want to dry this out really well when we're done driving it because we don't want to ruin those electronics but it's driving pretty good it's just a little slower than expected let's take a look down here so we have steering rate throttle trim and steering trim let's turn that the throttle trims all the way up if we were to turn that down look how slow it goes so if you really want to you can set it up for like almost like a training mode for kids okay or someone that's never driven RC before, because that's literally full throttle. But I turned this, the throttle trim all the way down. So right out of the box, they had it turned all the way up, which means that's as fast as it can go. So it's kind of a slower RC. That's two. One more and it's You're your turn. You're not doing good. <laughs> it's a muddy mess over here. What do you guys think of this spot? Should we do more here with like more powerful As RCs? I fall down the ditch. Yeah, it is super oh muddy. I like the snow though. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> That's why that ramp is broken. <laughs> yeah, just doesn't hold up super well to our RCs. One more shot. Whether I wreck or not, I'll pass the controls to Abby. Let's see what she thinks on this. <laughs> not a bad ramp. Not a bad little ramp. Okay, Abby, let's see what you got. This is a nice little off road spot. It's kind of fun to drive here. I think you'll like it. 
have a bad feeling that this is gonna meet some water now. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Abby's not afraid to drive and break things. I, I try not to, but what happens is I usually break stuff and I'm the one that doesn't try to. And when Abby gets the controls, she tries to break stuff and it usually lives. It's crazy. Now, I'm surprised how well it can actually get through that off-roading. Hey, I'm getting the ramp. That's okay. It takes a minute to get used to. I drove it around for, you know, a minute or two before I even tried to hit the ramp just because it, it's a very lightweight kind of RC. It's very bouncy. A little bouncy, yeah. I think the springs are a little too nice. The springs and the shocks are maybe a little too stiff, but it does off-road really well. Ow, that was full <laughs> throttle. You did not I'm hesitate sorry, sorry. at all. There was no hesitation there. Of you just not. committed to the foot. I'm Abby. Luckily, that's not hesitate. that's not a super strong RC. How am I getting flicked with mud already? I'm getting mud. <laughs> It is that muddy out here. Come on, come on, come on, come on! You got it. Nice! Oh. Almost in the water. Let's go right. over to that icy do you, spot. Yeah, do you think it can go on the no. edge? No. Oh, the edge? Yeah. Maybe. Just go slow. That is a very scary thing to try. Yeah, right on the edge. You guys see where the ice has like broken? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then let's go over to the other ice spot after this. Oh, wow, don't wow, drift wow, 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 wow. You made it. <laughs> Right, okay we'll see what we can do on now this one. one looks like it's busted but maybe it refroze because when i hit it it did not go in now to me that looks super busted because yeah. it is how did i get so lucky it didn't sink check it out Abby. here we go rc over the ice time oh my gosh oh my gosh so i do like this a little bit more than that tiny truck that we did from Amazon because it's just bigger and usually when you're outside bashing especially bigger is generally better but it depends it depends like crawling sometimes small crawlers are better now that looks like good ice let's see solid Ooh, there's like a mud ramp there too <laughs> if you can hit that at the right speed and angle that could be cool Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Commit to it. Oh. That's all right. We'll get it. Oh, big brick. <laughs> so let's talk about like options that are on the market. You know, you could get something like this out of the box. <laughs> that's, so, that's so much fun. I love that sliding. It's, it's a small 10th scale. Again, like 11th or 12th scale is what I'm going with. But it's four wheel drive and it has lights. It comes with two batteries and it's ready to run. What will $100 get you in the hobby? One of the best hey, okay. things I think you can get is like a 12428, the, maybe the purple buggy that we did. I still gotta remember that number. Or like an Arma Voltage. An Arma Voltage is a true 10th scale monster truck and it has, um, it's, it's two wheel drive. You're stuck out there? Oh my gosh. What are you gonna do? I don't know, get a stick. You get a park stick it, or throw a rock at it. With it. The stick. Yeah. Wow, that is not good because you don't want to walk out on that, do you? I don't know. Think about it. It looks pretty thick. Are you gonna walk around and get it? You remember when he had an RC car get stuck on the frozen river? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's gotta be a stick right there. Look at the woods. You get stuck right there forever. A very dead stick. That's okay. I think it'll work. That looks like the perfect RC car pushing stick. Yeah, it's probably gonna like break. No, no, no. We got it. Just a little nudge. Oh, it did break. I told you it was try again. Try again. Give it some throttle. You might actually be able to go now. There you go. Yeah. Nice job. Right around the hundred, hundred and fifty dollar price point, you got options like Arma Voltage, one two four two eight, and one of my favorites, the Purple Buggy. But those are not sold on Amazon. This is. You got two batteries of this and you got lights. So there's a few things going for this. Nice, that was really yeah! good. That's okay, keep going. Go, 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 go. Um, this, this is good. It's holding up to <laughs> some others out there in this price point. Oh no, don't get stuck on that. Yeah. Oh no. 
Go, go, go. Oh, no. Go, go, go. There, you got it. We were just gliding. <laughs> and it's sold by DRC, which is basically Holy Stone. They, they have their ground vehicle brand and um, not a bad little RC car. I, I think this is cool. I love it on the ice. And you're just smiling. Yeah. <laughs> just watching it do whatever it wants, really. On the ice. Yeah. Oh no. Oh it nice. Go? You know, it just did that. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. Other than that one um, icy spot where the chassis got hung up, it's actually powering through like all the grass off road. I do think I'm losing some throttle. Oh, okay. All right, battery's getting low. That's fine. Time to wrap it up. Well, after Abby got this all muddified, uh, it makes it harder to hold. What we'll do is take this home, probably. Uh, Blast it with some air, maybe, to get all that snow and muck off of there, I guess. <laughs> and then we'll try to let it dry out with Abby's uh, hair dryer. Just don't do that with your battery. You want to take the battery out and then take the hair dryer to it. Okay, that's probably the best way to clean that. And uh, I have to hold on to that steering wheel on the way home. That's why I'm trying not to get too super muddy. That's okay. That's an okay RC, I think. It's, you know, if I had a number rating, that'd probably be like a seven and a half out of ten, something like that. It's like nothing that's super exceptional and mind-blowing, but it's just a good RC. It's, if you want a big RC, this I feel like is better than our Iron Track Spathas. Remember the very first RCs we bought? Mm -hmm. They were about this price, and they came with one nickel metal hydride battery. It took us eight hours to charge one of those suckers. This comes with two LiPo batteries. The Iron Track Spathas, did they have lights? No, they no. did not. <laughs> this has lights, it's four wheel drive, it has a little more ground clearance. I think if Abby and I would have started our RC hobby together with two of these, instead of the Iron Track Spathas, we'd have been off to a much better start. Now that was eight years ago, so technology improvement and price stays about the same. I, I can't I can't say that this is a bad RC. If you want to pick it up, it's linked in the description box below. Just forgetting to come out here and have some fun today with a new RC car and a new spot to explore and bash around in. I want to thank the big guy upstairs and I want to hear from you guys. Should we come back here with more RCs, maybe more powerful things and, and maybe again when there's no uh, giant, giant water holes that we could fall in and ruin our <laughs> RCs. I think that would be a cool ramping spot. Uh, that, that would be awesome. So let us know in the comments below. And we'll have another budget RC car video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.